one thing that pissed me off about loadout was the sensitivity. Like I, I felt like I was oh, yeah, the yeah, sniper. But it was slow. Oh yeah, shit. super slow. But I'm sure they'll they'll have add that, stuff yeah. like that. And it was just for like it, it was like a testing a, booth, so yeah. it's not gonna let us mess with the sensitivity. Yeah, of course. And they wanted to get some feedback about it too. And um, honestly, the only thing that I would tweak about it is for well, first off, you have to worry about like the the biggest problem with games like that because we were playing on land, a uh, local mm -hmm. area connection. So we were actually all plugged into the same router, so there was no lag whatsoever at all. Actually, I don't even think we were on a router. No, we were. We were. It was mm -hmm. on the internet. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you land, can so you can no... use our a router to plug. Have you ever seen a router like how it's got a lot of ports in it? I don't know about. You know more about land. Well, yeah, the, yeah. You know, system just, links and all that shit. Yeah, it's basically just all the Ethernet's plugged yeah. into one device, and that's how it goes. So um. That's going to be a probably an issue because it's an issue with any video game like lag and stuff. So things won't register and yeah. stuff like that. But um, maybe kind of tweaking the uh, the kill feed a little bit because if really it's small, yeah, yeah, it's really small and over the corner. And I know a lot of people say, oh, it's just a kill feed, but you'd be surprised how much more successful games are for montages when the kill feeds really visible like had like you got a quad feed yeah people love the, i mean i love it too i can't lie i, lo I love getting everything on screen because i never you know you got people looking down at the corner like damn dude that guy just got four kills in a row and uh it's pretty sweet but um probably probably gonna do some dual comms with uh kendall as well he's really really cool dude yeah and uh he's just he, he's probably one of the chillest mlg players i've ever met and I think reason for that is because he makes videos as well, so he knows the time and effort yeah. that we put into Plus he videos. gets promotion. He's he's promoted like we are. He has yeah. a lot, he has a good following. The MLG guys that are assholes are pissed because we get more promotion than them, but he gets an equal amount, so you know, he's he's cool about yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean I think some of them just um I don't want to stereotype it, but... It is a lot of the MLG guys are assholes to the YouTube guys. I'm not saying every one of them, because there are a lot of... Ch like, Kendall, he's really cool, but yeah, a lot I, of them are assholes. I think one dude that I kind of got the wrong impression of is um is Fallout. Like, I think Fallout probably is a genuinely cool dude, like, just yeah, like Kendall. Because he called us YouTube kids? Yeah, I mean, he called us, like, YouTube kids. I mean, dude, that doesn't hurt my feelings at Cause all. Because I am. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we are YouTube <laughs> kids. I, I just... I'm a YouTube man. I don't know. I, I've I came from the competitive back like a competitive background, so when I get called a montage kid I get kinda I don't know. It's kinda weird because I started off calling people montages kids. Bah Can you imagine? Would that yeah. get extra views? Bah Yeah, right. You just see my big ass just rock em. <laughs> that would rock em. that would definitely get extra views. Yeah, he's sitting on like a little ass stool right now. I'm on a chair. And uh he's still almost as high as me and Oh, let me get my posture right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Why does my camera always <laughs> zoom out like that? Uh, but I'm going to try to get my videos off of my iPhone. It's going to be a bitch. I don't know how that works. Hopefully you can just USB. plug it in. I can plug in the USB right in the yeah, computer. Right in the computer. And then it'll come up like, open files, do Oh, oh yeah, because it's kind of like an iPod. That's pretty sick. So. Yeah. But, um, so we also, I, I think I mentioned this, we, we, uh, Met the guy at what was his name? I don't remember. Somebody tweeted the guy who did Dom's voice and stuff. So oh, yeah. we actually met a lot of people. Um, who else did we see? We saw some Call of Duty guys. We saw a bunch of Optic guys. All right, I think um, we already said we saw Diesel and them. Do we? Uh, I know we brought up Hex and Cena. All right, we yeah. saw Optic Diesel, Cena, Justra, T Martin, Gold Glove, Loading God Mode. I don't even know half the people you just mentioned. I don't know who the team are. I've heard uh, of them. Jericho. Jericho. I think I've seen one of his videos. But, I mean, it's not like we went up to him and like, yo, like, oh my god, I do YouTube videos too. Like, I, I, I actually, just don't care anymore. I actually respect them for what they yeah. did, though. Um, They were, like, uh, tweeting and stuff. And I think Woody's Gamertag, I saw him in Jaws, too. Oh, yeah, Jaws was there. And Woody's Gamertag. Like freaking and... million subs for both him and C. Nanners. And what he's gamer tag, they both got a crazy amount of subs. Yeah, so I actually respect them for what they do though because they we go do to it too. No, I mean they go to these events and they're like really nice to like everybody who comes up to them and I give them major props for They that. got to with a fan base like that and you'll get known as a dickhead quick. Yeah, I know, but they could just be dicks, dude, for the popularity that they are and they're chill. So yeah. I mean I respect them for that, so 
I don't know, dude. I had a really good weekend. Uh, we're going to go get our drink on tonight. Oh, yeah, dude. We went to dude, oh. which dudes. We went to a couple of clubs last night, and we took taxi cabs because we're not drinking and driving. We're oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give and them a little uh, rundown of Boston. All right. We paid like $30 to go like two miles in Boston, and we have to pay like seven fifty for a toll, and our taxi driver was literally crazy. Like, he oh, was he cutting hit. people off, like honking his horn, and he even hit somebody with his cab, and like the dude the like, guy ran up. off. <laughs> yeah, like rolled up on the hood of the car, and he's like honking his horn, like eh. yeah. Yeah, like, he had to slam shit, his brake on. I've never, I didn't have my seatbelt on either, that, yeah, and I usually always put my seatbelt on. And that's when we looked at up. each other like this. You ready? Click. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but to give you guys a rundown about Boston, and it's probably like this with any other city. Uh, first of all, there's a lot to do. There's like 40 different clubs you can go to. There's millions of fucking places to eat. You never have to worry about being bored here. If you have money. That's one of the things. We're staying in a, like a really nice hotel, but what fucked us over is we're actually... If you look, if you get a map of Boston and look... Boston's basically here and then there's like a little side island over here where the airport is and uh, Like right here. No, but there's like we're on the side island So every time we want to go to the city we have to pay a three dollar and fifty toll and it's five fifty and it's a cab I don't understand why I think it's because they just run the toll Yeah, but like you said earlier you got to be careful with cabs because if you don't know the city well They'll be like oh this kid's just out from out of town like they like cab drivers talk to you a lot when you're in the cab they're like oh so where are you from and like i was like i'm from virginia and he's like oh this kid doesn't know shit so we're gonna take a detour and i'm gonna drive extra far out of the way just to go to the next like to the destination yeah and i mean ring up the fucking taxi cab bill and taxis so. are expensive man like, 40 80 dollars last night for three taxis yeah we took a taxi to one club and then we took a taxi to another club and then we took a taxi home and we actually waited 25 minutes in the fucking blistering cold for a yeah, cab. But I really couldn't feel much of my body at that point. Yeah, dude. Jack and Coke. Captain and Coke. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> you want to talk about the cold a little bit or no? Um, okay, oh, no, no, I forgot something about Boston. Um, The girls here are fucking unreal. Like, they're dime pieces everywhere you look. But they're just really good to look at. They don't really dance. I mean, they, they kind of dance, but it's not like... I don't know where you guys are. I mean, a lot of you guys are from all over the world, so I don't know how it is. And some of you guys might not even go to dances or, like, clubs or anything like that. So you're probably like, what the fuck is this kid talking about? But where I'm from and where he's from, the girls grind where, you know, we go to clubs. And yeah, they all these girls were really just, like, dancing, like, face-to-face -face rather than ass-on. Like, I mean, just, like, old person yeah, like, dancing, like... like yeah, like, like just moving their bodies. Thing. Like, dude, this one guy was just getting it. It was just like, oh this. my god! And there was a dude. There's a black dude in the back. All like, the bouncers are just laughing. I'm like, like, oh my god. like, oh my god! Like this that, kid, that white boy is literally. And he was a good looking girl too. Yeah, and she was like was, loving dude. it up, and she's just all. He had like his hair parted and everything, and he was just like this nerdy looking guy. And he's just like, yeah, and he probably woke up feeling like a million bucks. He was like, yeah. I danced with a honey. He was like, night. literally, like, he's just like getting it, like moving I was, his dude, body. I give him respect. Like, yeah, he. I mean, yeah. he did his fucking thing. I would never do that, though. I would never do that, but he did his fucking thing. He did his thing. So, I mean, honestly, like, like the girls are like, don't grind here. It's really weird. Twenty three minutes. That's all right. Now we're, we're gonna have to cut this a little bit short because the camera's on the cooler and I need a beer. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, seriously. Hold on. Just wait two minutes. Man. All right. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, we'll cut this into parts for you guys so you guys aren't like. YouTube, and I YouTube money whore. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't now make it's money. Going, now it's going to be one video. Cause I, I, don't, I don't make money. On yeah, he, he doesn't make money on YouTube because he got a strike. And everybody's like, oh, LB, you're just a money whore. Well, he doesn't make money. He's pretty salty about it because, you know, that is his only means of money right now. So I'm going to have to get a job. Damn. Probably. Hopefully he's going to get his partnership soon because he puts a lot of work in his videos. So it's I do, fair. but I'm not going to stop making it. videos. Well, that's good, dude. Um, it's like I haven't had partnership for like four months and I'm still making them pretty constantly. So 
And I need to get back on my shit. You're probably like, Iceman, what is going on? Oh, yeah. I had people tweeting me, fucking messaging me, like, where is Iceman? Did he die? This no, night? I just, me and my girlfriend went, well, my ex-girlfriend went through, like, a lot of, like, hardship. We, we broke up again. Like, I know we broke up, like, a couple months ago and we got back together. But, I don't know, we've been breaking up a lot lately. So, I'm kind of going through some shit right now. But I got my head on my shoulders. So, when I get back... I'm going to try and get some gameplays for you guys and get back on my shit. I have a community channel that I run and I'm sure my inbox is overflowing so I'm going to just need to sit down one day and like look through my messages for like three or four hours and download all the videos that you guys send me. Yeah, it's um, it, it's hard. Like It's easy to stay up with your content when you don't have shit going on in your life. Like I work and I like chill with my friends a lot so it's like hard, you know, like on a Friday night when you get off work and all you want to do is just hang out with your friends, you know, and your boy hits you up and he's like, yo, let's go do something. Like, that's what I want to do. I don't want to be like, no, man, like, I need to go home and play Xbox and get gameplays. Like, that's just not what I want to do when I'm depressed. So I've been yeah. hanging out and trying to keep my mind off things lately. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's kind of like, I mean, playing video games is really fun. Like, I like playing with friends and stuff. But when you're constantly thinking about something that goes on in your life, like it's almost like you're isolating yourself from the world, even if you're playing with friends. Yeah. And uh, you just gotta get out and be socially, yeah, socially keep your active. mind off shit. Yeah. Like if you're just sitting there and you get raped by a sawed off and it pisses you off, and then you're oh, thinking yeah. about how you just got dumped and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never made that yeah, that yeah. face. Fucking sawed off virgin. <laughs> My face is usually like. Yeah, dude, he gets pretty angry. He almost threw the GPS out of the window. Like, I saw a real-life rage today. Do you want to tell him about it? Like, he took the wrong exit, and he literally ripped his Garmin off the fucking windshield. Like, <laughs> like, so... <laughs> Can you even see that hand? <laughs> I have anger through. issues. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. All right. A little. Yep. Like, Iceman's dick. Can't even fit it in a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but for real, we need to cut this short, guys. Uh, my my link will be in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Who subs to this guy? Uh, like, are you guys fucking retarded? Uh, but <laughs> anyways, um, we just wanted to tell. <laughs> we just wanted to tell you guys how our weekends went. Uh, maybe leave a comment down below. Oh my, I thought you took your shirt off. Like, I didn't think you had an undershirt. I thought shit was just going to get real gay. Um, <laughs> Dude, it's hot in here, and I got jeans on. Uh, damn, damn. So, if you guys want to leave me um, a comment, let me know how your Easter went or your weekend. I don't really know when this is being uploaded, but uh, I want to see how you guys are doing. I feel like I haven't, I haven't stayed up to date with you guys. And I can honestly say... Hold on, I got to zip up my trousers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay. Um so we will talk to you guys later and uh our Twitters will be in the description. Our twatters. Our Twitter twatters. Yes. Uh follow me on Twitter. You can follow him at if you want. At Iceman underscore eight oh four little O. Little O for a little D. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh I've been like butter. And I am Iceman. And uh, he's been like butter. Like, who says that as an outro? I've been like butter, as in I'm a fanboy just posing as like butter for this video. And we will talk to you guys later. Yeah. Bye. Now get the fuck off my cooler. <laughs>